Nature, right on your doorstep. That's what more and more people in big cities want. And if not on your doorstep, how about a garden on your roof, like Christian Godschlich has in Berlin? Everyone dreams of being able to sit in their garden in the evening, barbecuing, enjoying it all. A little bit of gardening isn't too much work. After all, it's only a small garden. The Godschlich family's roof garden is 200 square meters in size. The family put 80 tons of soil on the roof. The earth is 25 centimeters deep here, and that's necessary if you want to plant fruit trees. Eight-year-old Naya likes to help with the gardening. The family does everything themselves. Christian loves plants that produce food, like tomatoes and berries. It's great for the children to see how our raspberries and blueberries and blackberries or cherries grow, that they don't just come from the grocers, but really grow on trees. I want our children to learn that. The Royal Garden Academy in Berlin's Dahlem district has long been aware of the urban gardening trend. Here, people can buy flowers or fruit and vegetable plants, especially for rooftop or balcony gardens. There are also courses where city dwellers can learn all about tending plants. Belgian garden designer Isabel van Grunigen has offered an increasing number of courses in recent years. And they're always booked out. Nowadays, there's a whole new generation of people in the big cities who want to rediscover their connection with nature. We've become very removed from nature. And now people want to get back to their roots and see where things come from. And our pleasure in going out and watching plants grow, seeing flowers coming and going, and also being able to harvest something, this has become very important to people. Isabel often shows people how to grow herbs and lettuce. The classics are rosemary and loose leaf lettuce, which are easy to grow if you have enough sun. The newest trend on city terraces is growing vegetables. People always want things that are less common, like unusual sorts of tomatoes or yellow zucchinis, certain things that you don't find in the store. It's a lifestyle aspect. It's hip to serve them to dinner guests. Vegetable gardening is a focus of neighborhood gardens, which are popping up in big cities all over the world, like here in Berlin's Princess's Garden. The founders rented a fallow area, 6,000 square meters in size. In good weather, anyone, whether local or tourist, can come here and do a little gardening. No one has his own separate area. Participants plant and sow together. Here, urban agriculture and the social aspect of gardening come together. Here in this garden, I'm learning a lot about growing vegetables, which I had no idea about before. And there are a lot of plants where I'm not sure yet how they'll turn out. And that's fun. Berlin still has lots of fallow areas that people could use to garden together. It's nice because you get to know people with the same interests. This roof garden in southern Berlin is something else entirely. Soberly designed, it's exclusive. Each of the 19 tenants have their own small garden, 20 meters above the ground. Boxwood hedges ensure privacy. Those who want to meet neighbors reach them via a gallery running around the outer edge of the space. A green paradise above the roofs of the city.